Hello and welcome back to our next exciting adventure. Yes, hot on the heels of our big trip with the Heimer motorhome. Dougal and I, we are still in Germany, just we're across the Rhine from Strasbourg in the town of Kale, which is the HQ of our friends at Bursna. Yes, our next trip is in the Bursna motorhome. Now, as many of you may know, Bursna is a sister brand to Heimer and I think there's been a little bit of sibling rivalry because obviously Heimer gave us that huge beautiful B790 Masterline and Bursna have basically turned around a bit of sibling rivalry, rivalry and said yeah you think that was big well hold my vice beer because look what Bursna have given us Oh yes indeed folks, even bigger! We have got a Bursna Elegance i910G. Look at that! So we'll show you the highlights and then we'll give you a quick tour in a little more detail. So cue the Von Fuhlen music! So there we have it folks in all its glory, the Bursna Elegance i910G. What a beast! Nine meters! Nine meters long! I mean I've, I've used up all the, the Kenneth Williams sort of enormous on the Heimer but so what are we going to call this one? Huge? Massive? Absolutely gigantic? <laughs> it's huge! But you know what? Ah! I can drive an 8-metre A-Class motor home, I can drive a 9-metre A-Class motor home. So as ever folks, this will be a very quick first look. Now I do know that this one goes through the tills. Starting price is £125,000. But you do get quite a few extras included in that. As ever folks, we've got this for a week. Uh, the videos will be going on for hopefully about three weeks, trying to uh, release sort of two a week so we can take our foot off the gas now, but we had to get all the Heimer videos done because we knew we were going to pick up this beautiful Bursner. So videos will be for about three weeks, but we've got this for about a week. But at the end of the loan folks, so in about three weeks time from when you're watching this, if you watch this when it's first launched, uh, there will of course be a full review 
of this stunning motorhome on this channel. A full and honest living review. However, I can't promise that that one's going to go on for one hour and 50 minutes like the last one because even though these are, they have the same parent company and they do share some commonality, this and the Hymer, they are built in different factories in different ways and as you'll see when we go in or as you may have seen from the uh, from the little fleeting look just earlier they are very very different but certain components are the same so, so we've still got the uh, the storage between the floor and see we got these are different these if I can operate it here we go this way around so we've got a nice big garage in here. Oh, but the other side's the interesting side, folks. We'll just swing you around past this rather lovely. So certain things that I like about it already, like this sort of one handle for the garage, and then you've got this mechanism inside that locks it in two places. This is the interesting bit, folks, and this is probably the most exciting part of the line. This is a test of the Thetford Indus system. Now for those of you who don't know what the Thetford Indus system is, this is brand new and we do not have a toilet cassette. Oh no, because a toilet cassette, I mean for two of you, when there was uh, myself and Sophia, we managed to, uh, let's just say, use up the uh, capacity of the cassette within 24 hours when I was on my own I needed to empty the cassette every two days with the Indus system you get almost up to a week without needing to empty the loo because you have a 50 litre black tank but I hear you cry, there are no black tank emptying facilities in Europe. Ha ha, that's where the Indus system comes in. Because we have a 110 litre waste water tank and one of those chemicals goes into there. The toilet flushes with grey water, with treated grey water. And then when it's time to empty, there is a special process and we will go through this. I'll probably do a separate video about it, folks. Where, I mean, come on, folks. Black waste generally goes into the same sewer system as grey waste. Now, where I live, where there are septic tanks up in the islands, that's not the case. But in about 80% of cases, the black waste and the grey waste go into the same system. So you do get an app, and we'll go through the app when we look at the Indus system in more detail and it tells you the safe places you can disp you can empty your tanks and what happens is first of all it flushes through the black but then it uses the treated grey water to flush through the system and basically sort of clean it out so it's a really clever system and we are going to put it through its paces in the real world folks so there you go a uh, little anyway that's a quick tour of the exterior we've got the uh, two-lay omnistore canopy one piece door with a bin and electric step of course and then we will go in as i say you've had a little sweep already so we can already see this is a very different layout to many A-class motorhomes, we've got a parallel seating arrangement. And I can hear some of you saying, well, what about the grandkids? We want to take the grandkids. They can't sit there because they are not travel seats. And you would be correct. They are not travel seats, but guess what, folks? Under there, I'm trying to do this with one hand, is a travel seat. Oh, that worked Dougal up. You excited about that Dougal? You excited about a travel seat? I'm oh, sorry, you're going to be on the front seat belted in like you normally are. Sorry. And then there is another travel seat under this sofa here. But we'll start at the cab. And as I say, this is just a fleeting quick look folks. 
full review in a few weeks on this channel. Mercedes Sprinter cab, we're very familiar with it now. This is the third loan I've had with this cab and it is quite different to the, the, uh, the Hymer. Now one thing that strikes me already folks about this, there's a lot of black sort of vinyl plastic isn't there? It just, I don't know, it, it's not, it's not really doing it for me, all this black vinyl, but <laughs> watch, look at this folks, I told you these are all different. Very neat blinds in this one. <coughs> You're watching Heimer. Very nice, neat blinds in this one. And we've got a little blind. Uh, it's a manual blind that, that folds up there. But we've got no real storage here. Just uh, a shelf there that I've got Dougal's harness on ready. Now in the motorhome, we also have lots of these. These little lights. And what's neat about them is you can pop them off, use it as a table light, use it as a flashlight, torch. So that's pretty neat. But they do need charging up. And guess what? Where it is at the moment is not a charging station. So anyway, we'll cover all that in the, uh, in the, main, the main review. We have an electric drop down bed, not manual electric so i told you this one's got a slightly higher spec but again folks yeah you guessed it there is a configurator for this motorhome i will leave a link to the configurator in the description below this video so you can have a tinker with that and have a play and come up with the bursner of your dreams so because there is no uh tv place here the tv is there and it sort of comes out on its bracket and straightens up so it does go around to landscape format it's just stored in a portrait format so don't worry about that now as far as I'm aware folks and I will have to confirm this and get back to you or again check it out in the uh, in the online brochure UK models are going to have a cooker with grill and oven here so don't get too excited about this dual fuel hub with an induction top I have a very strong feeling that in the UK we are going to get a cooker now I have good news if you're watching this in the UK folks Burstner are going to be doing a road show in October in the UK so if you can't get to see, you obviously there's no NEC show this October but you can get to see one at your local dealer because guess what there is an elegance in the Burstner road show so if you give Burstner UK a follow on social media, you will have all the dates of the Burstner Roadshow in the UK, all the dealers who are taking part and what dates that they will have the Burstner Roadshow at their dealership and you can see an elegance for yourself in the flesh. And there are, there are also people coming over from Germany, from Burstner itself, like the lovely Tobias who's shown me around this motorhome and uh, yeah you can just give them all a hard time I did that's what they're there for isn't it <laughs> so as you can see we've got single beds at the back and then we've got this well the, the washroom is just outstanding because we've got this uh, huge sort of um, oh, one thing I forgot folks hello sorry <laughs> might be a posh motorhome but it's never too posh for a hello and then we've got a, a full length mirror on the toilet door here, which in the time on a tradition opens up to give you a completely private bedroom and ensuite space. So that's the Indus toilet, which as I say, I think that's going to deserve a video all on its own folks. Oh, there's an even bigger mirror in here for an even bigger hello sorry there you go that's a bigger hello sorry uh so that's your washroom in there your bathroom and we have Q the kenneth williams the most enormous shower matron so i can't wait to give that a try and see if the uh, the water flow is, is any good so that's pretty good 
and then we got the wardrobe here where we've got loads of we've got some hanging space in here and rather randomly the charging station or a charging station for those little lights I'm not too sure of what all that this lighting things all about but you know that's the thing folks we will get to live with this motorhome for a week and tell you what works and what maybe doesn't work i'm really looking forward to trying out this new indus toilet system so that is a fleeting tour of our home for the next week first impressions uh, you come through the door and you're like wow 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 double wow and then you go to hang your coat up and you think where's the coat hooks there's nowhere to hang my coat up and you go to put your keys down and you think well where do I put my keys there's nowhere to put my keys and then you look at the cab and you think oh um, did they forget something here everything's nice and coordinated sort of back here it's a nice you know all lovely lovely interior furnishings they all match with the browns and the beiges and the whites and everything just harmonizes beautifully in that Burisner Wohnfühlen way and then the cab is black hmm but that won't be too much of an issue when you've got these seats turned around and you've made it into a lounge right I'm not going to bother showing you the driving on the first look video folks because uh, it's going to be pretty much the same as the, the last motorhome we had uh, so there you go okay folks so there you go that is a very quick first look at our Burisna Elegance i910G what an amazing motorhome this is all nine meters of it so I'm going to win the video there I hope you enjoyed that don't forget folks to um, check this out on the Burisna UK website I'll leave a link in the description below Dougal wake up Dougal I'll leave a link in the description below and <laughs> Dougal oh dear it's such an effort and also don't forget as I say Burisna are doing a road show throughout the UK in October so give them a follow on social media and that's where you'll see the dates of all the dealerships that are hosting the Burisna road show and on what dates that will be so you will be able to get to see one of these in the flesh in proper UK spec so hope you enjoyed that folks as ever a huge thank you to Burisna UK who are sponsoring this series of vlogs without influencing the content thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it you know what to do please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you don't already and it just leaves me to say from Dougal who can barely contain his indifference Dougal you could look a bit more interested <laughs> and from me thanks for turning in there. Dougal you could just summon up a little bit more enthusiasm we're in a beautiful £125,000 motorhome and you can... Yeah, he's so not interested, are you? He never smiles.